What's up everyone? Today I thought I would cover what I've been doing programming wise for the year 2024. Let's go! Okay, so I actually did a similar video last year for 2023 where I covered the programming projects I worked on then and I thought I would do the same this year. So we can start by actually comparing the GitHub contribution graphs. So 2023, I came in at 829 commits and recording today is the 21st of December and we are at 793. So we're actually not too far off. It's very similar, but you can actually see a bunch of gaps in my contributions this year. And I think I know the reason why. So starting off this year from January until June, I was finishing up my bachelor's degree from university. And I was actually living in Berlin for the first three months of the year, studying on an exchange semester there at the same time as the semester in Norway had started. So because of some overlapping semesters, I was dual wielding, that's it. And I was also working part time as an iOS developer. So yeah, I had too much stuff to do but uh, let's cover what i did so in berlin i had the following two programming courses compiler design and cloud computing so in compiler design i actually read half of the book crafting interpreters by robert newstrom i think it's called let's check it out uh, this book is free uh, on the internet and uh, Going through it, you actually create an interpreter for the LOX programming language from scratch in both Java and C. So I basically followed along and did the whole thing in Java, which was um, kind of nice. The courses, Compiler Design and Cloud Computing in Berlin were both very theoretical. So if we actually look at my notes here in uh, Notion, you see Compiler Design here and you can pl probably find Cloud Computing as well. I took so many notes and this is really not the way I like to study and learn stuff at all. So I had to prep for the theoretical exam and um, yeah, it went okay. I passed both courses, but uh, you can see from the GitHub contribution graph, it wasn't really a practical course at all. So continuing, I came back to Norway sometime in March and I caught up on my two programming courses at the school there which one of them was programming architecture i think it's called where i created a chess game in kotlin using the libgdx library which is ancient and uh, sort of trash but uh, you know what we made it work and i can actually try to spin this up for you okay so i've got android studio open with the code base in front of me here and um, I guess I can show you a couple of clips from the app. So yeah, just think standard chess with online capabilities. So we use the Firebase real-time database to support online gameplay. And um, yeah, other than that, we try to follow the model view, view model architecture to implement the game. Okay, so that was a very fun course actually. And next up, the last programming project from my bachelor's degree, which was the actual bachelor's project. So in a group of maybe six people, we created a kind of cool project. We were assigned to create a satellite telemetry alerting system <laughs> for the HIPSO-1 satellite. So this is a satellite created by NTNU SmallSat Lab, which does some satellite research stuff. And here is a picture of it. Okay, so HIPSO-1 is a satellite that monitors stuff in the oceans of earth through some very special cameras and uh, our job was to create a system that would alert the satellite team whenever something was wrong on the satellite so uh, this is sort of a fancy way of saying that we created a slack bot and uh, yeah the actual implementation was pretty straightforward as we got access to a data set with a bunch of stuff like its uptime and such and if we detected any anomalies we would send a message to slack 
so yeah cool project and it is still being used as far as i know so very cool to see after finishing the bachelor's project and the bachelor's degree i moved back to oslo to continue work as an ios developer on the app Oshunakan. so my work this year has mostly consisted of rewriting the code base to swift ui as well as creating a bunch of new features and uh, we've also been looking a lot at kotlin multi-platform which has been really fun actually and um, yeah i got to go to kotlin conf this year in copenhagen it was very fun everybody talked about kotlin multi-platform and uh, yeah hopefully next year i will work more with this technology so if you're not familiar kotlin multi-platform is a technology used for code sharing between both android and ios and i guess other platforms as well but that's our um, use case so we can actually share a bunch of the business logic in our app and uh, yeah we're trying to get that up and running in addition to work i've been doing some personal projects like my website isaac.me which i've redesigned maybe three times this year so this is the current state um yeah i think it looks pretty good and i've been writing some posts you should check them out and i'm also trying to actively write this newsletter so go to my website and enter your email here or subscribe via rss and you'll be good to go so the current uh, project is built using next.js and um, yeah it's actually based of a tailwind ui theme but i've modified it quite a bit so it's not too recognizable anymore i think which is pretty cool. I also did a project with my friend Andesh where we created a Heroes of Might and Magic 3 gaming machine um, with an invisible display. So I actually created a video on this on this channel. You can check that out as well as a couple of other smaller projects like a fake type racer in React. Kind of good, right? I think so. Created a shell from scratch in rust complete oh <laughs> no it failed i thought i saw some green and an http server in c 404 not found so these i guess were more random stuff <laughs> that i just did on a whim but uh, yeah i feel like i've just been uh, rambling around in this video but hopefully you got an impression of what i've been uh, doing this year and I think I'm also going to create a video on my goals for 2025. So if that sounds interesting, hit subscribe and I will drop that in a couple of days.